the same when you are a newcomer to the city to find out about this place and people you must visit the market the bazaar is the heart of the old city right in the ancient place which was the silk road market today is the main place for the locals siap bazaar welcome to samarkand samarkand After his victorious campaign to India, Tamerlane aimed to build a grander mosque in Samarkand, in his capital. So that's how we have Bibi Hanum Mosque, which was the largest mosque in his empire. Today we can't see the whole mosque as it was built. But even having left over of that construction, we might guess with you how big it was and how spectacular it was on those days. Let's explore this mosque together. The largest mosque of the empire was named after the favorite wife of Tamerlane, Bibi Hanum. She was from Genghis Khan's roots. And as a symbol and the wish, she was buried in front of the mosque named after her. Don't miss a chance to visit this mausoleum standing right across the street of the mosque. which is dating back to the period of Alexander the Great. Yes, this is 4th century BC, the beginning of the history of Samarkand. My friends, I'm back at a new place, which is very famous among the locals and pilgrims all around the world. Shahi Zinda Necropolis, which is the magnificent place for the for believers. And here many people, Muslims, come to test their faith. Allah is the great, Allah is the only. Here they have to follow strict rules while they enter and leave this holy site. When you come to this place, you have to follow by these steps up to the main street, which is full of the brilliant, beautiful mausoleums dated back to the Timur spirit, as well as before him. The whole place is surrounded with the mysterious stories, but the most important, this is the place of a life king. The king is alive. This is the name of the place, Shahi Zinda. Hello my friends, Samarkand, the Rome and the Eden of the East, all these names came to Samarkand during the reign of the great Tamerlane. When you are in Samarkand, indeed you have to visit and pay your respect to this great man. Now we are with you at one of the major sites of Samarkand, 
and truly the piece of the art in Samarkand, the Gur Amir Mausoleum. This is the one who is the family world for the male representatives of Timurids, including the Tamale himself. And as well, this is one of the most beautiful monuments in the Timurid spirit and history. I'd like to welcome you to this site to enjoy and to know more about this person. Welcome. Amir Timur, or Tamerlane as the world knows him, never planned to become the great grand warlord. But due to some certain facts, he had to protect his territory and further continue his attacks as well as his tactics further to the different parts of the world. Tamerlan loved Samarkand and Chakrisat, which was the second important city in his empire where he was born. Due to the fact that Samarkand was a major city of the region with a bigger population, it had to be a capital. And Timur set up here the center of his empire and civilization. The best scholars, the best architects were brought to Samarkand and they took part in the constructions of the warlords. Since 1370, Till his death, Timur was on campaigns. And due to the fact we had one of the largest empires in the world, we may see here approximate map of his empire, which stretched from the east to the west, from the south to the north. 27 countries with a modern map of the world were included in his empire. Three continents, Therefore, three rings or circles were on his flag. And right in the middle, we can see Samarkand as the capital of his empire. And due to the fact Timur died on the way to China, his body was transferred to Samarkand and buried here. And best scholars, best architects took part in the construction of the interior of this mausoleum. So I welcome you to the mausoleum of Bodhini or Tim Wings.